This is a mini Soparoo dock. These guys reached out to me again and asked me if I wanted to review something. Uh, I've reviewed a bunch of their stuff and they're all fantastic. I've yet to find something that they sent me that I didn't really like. So of course, when they contacted me, I was immediately intrigued. And when they offered me to review a 40 gigabyte per second, um, these things can get pretty pricey from some brands. Um, you know, so it's nice to have more competitors on the market here putting out these type of docks here. So, um, and these guys make good stuff. I've reviewed several of their products, their docks, um, some really high-end stuff that they're putting out there. So, I mean, so these are really good drives. I mean, you can use them for lots of different purposes, obviously for games, you know, this is going to love at a thousand megabytes a second, which can be fine. I mean, still fast, still fast storage for games. I don't see any problems with that. And I do game test off of these type of drives. You know, I have like this over here that I, uh, use, but it's not going to be as fast. You know, you're getting these very fast NVMEs nowadays, and then you get yourself a slower drive, a slower enclosure like this, and you're limiting your drive. So what's the point? Like why even get a good SSD and then put it in something like this? It's just going to be running much slower. So if you're a Mac user, um, you know, often people who have Macs, you know, the storage on a Mac is just laughable. It's pathetic to be honest. And then, you know, sometimes, you know, you're going to be doing video editing and that and you can barely have any files on it. Macs are supposed to be these video editing monsters and powerhouses, but they have such pathetic amounts of storage that I mean, you're going to fill that up right away. But it's really nice to have something like this. You can actually do video editing off of it because it's so fast. So let's open this up here. Oh, it's tiny. I thought it'd be bigger. That's actually perfect. Uh, we get thermal pads there, a couple of thermal pads to keep the device nice and cool. Uh, some screws there and the brackets, a little screwdriver, Thunderbolt 4 capable cable here. This is important if you just get yourself some random 10 gigabit per second port cable that's really long and you plug it in and you say, why is it not giving me the proper speed? Well, because your cable is not. Look at that's actually really cute. It's just tiny. For a Thunderbolt 4, that's really cute. Uh, all metal, um, which is good because that's going to, first of all, the metal is just going to work as a heat sink as it is. It's just going to this thing will get a little warm, hopefully, and then it will express heat. Some people think like, that's bad. Oh, my enclosure is getting hot. No, 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 your enclosure is supposed to get hot. You want the enclosure to get hot because then it pulls the heat off of the SSD inside and it doesn't bake. It goes into this metal that radiates off heat. So you want these to get hot. So you have your controller board there. Looks good. Uh, overall looks pretty good. So that's gonna just go in there. This is pretty straightforward, obviously. That goes in there, that goes in there. That's pretty basic and easy to put in. Uh, these are different thicknesses. So there's a thinner one and a thicker one. I think it depends on your SSD. Now uh, you can always double them up if need be. So what I'm going to do is put that on there. Yeah, see how it's sticky? The reason that I'm doing that is because I want to make sure it's making contact. Awesome. Cute little guy. We're all plugged in here. I got it all lined up. You can see it's plugged in there to the port there. And uh, we can see what kind of speeds we're gonna get here. It's the uh, drive is the SN810, high-end Gen 4, okay, well you can see, high-end Gen 4 drive from Western Digital. I actually pull it from a Legion. Uh, I'll check the temperatures here, 37. We'll see how warm it gets. Uh, that's what we expect. As you can see there, overall it's doing pretty well. Reads 3000-ish as expected. Rates a little bit slower overall. Uh, but uh, still pretty good overall. Basically, you're going to get USB 4-ish speeds overall. I can test other SSDs and see if it performs any different. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll move some big files. Baldur's Gate here, apparently. Okay, so we've moved a bunch of files over here. Looks like it's still not getting hot. Um, 34 degrees, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Two different programs reporting it nice and cool, so... It's clearly working. I can feel the heat on the SSD enclosure. Like I said, that's what you want. You want this thing to get hot so it pulls the heat away. Uh, but now that that's done, what I'll do is I'll move some stuff back off of that. I don't know. So let's see what we get here. Nice read speeds there. Two gigabytes or so per second. So really, good. it's gonna be awesome for games and uh, you know that kind of thing because it's gonna be reading really, really fast. The rates are okay. You know, not groundbreaking, but they're respectable. But the Reads here are very good. So for a game drive, it's actually amazing. Like that's very fast. Normally, that's like internal speeds for me for transferring games. Normally, I don't really get above that. I was just actually moving some files between uh, two different SSDs that I was testing inside of my computer, and this is the speed you're going to get. So the reads are very fast. And Crystal Dissing Info we're sending 34. And then just to be you know spot check, it looks like Hardware Info is reporting the same thing here. So we're getting a. Uh, Hardware info is telling us that we're getting 
37 as a peak there, or an average right there. And then over here, the crystal is marked 34. So whatever sensor they're using, it's gonna be basically the same. Oh, it's done. Okay, so basically it works. So very, very, very good drive uh, for reads. The reads are 3000 megabytes a second. So awesome for that. You're gonna get stellar reads on that. The writes aren't quite as fast, but they're still fast. 1500 is gonna be much faster than, you know, one 10 gigabit per second here, like these style here, it's gonna be you know much faster than that, 50% faster than that, and then it's three times faster in reads. So, uh, you know, general use, it's gonna be quite good if you're using it for like video editing, you know, that kind of stuff, it's gonna be awesome. Obviously for gaming, it's gonna be outstanding because it runs very fast for reads. You know, 3000 megabytes a second is incredibly fast for reads. So, you know, if you're loading up your games on something like this, get yourself like a Gen 3 drive, pr probably almost as fast as you can get, like a Samsung 770 Pro would be a good option there. Um, you know, that'll be basically about as fast as you can get for Gen 3, 3000 megabytes a second or so, 3500 megabytes a second, and, you know, awesome for games. So, um, you know, this is a drive that I'm going to be using for things like video editing. It's going to be perfect. I can take this with me. It's really small and slim. Despite that, you know, this little metal thing gets nice and warm, as it should. It's supposed to get warm because it's pulling heat away from the SSD inside. And you can see here that the SSD itself is not getting hot. Um, I have another one here that I think might be, I don't know, it's just a different brand. And I'm having issues with it getting hot, even though, you know, the metal is pulling away the heat. I think there might be something weird with the temperature regulation, the putting in too much volts or something like that, because this one's running nice and cool there, despite the fact it's been plugged in for a while and I've been reading and writing, reading and writing. So overall, awesome drive here. I think if you're a gamer, this one's probably a really compelling one. Don't buy yourself like a pre made, you know, one of those pre-made ones because you're gonna pay a fortune for them. Get yourself something like this and then just slap in an SSD that you like and you'll get really, really good performance out of it.